Good morning folks and welcome to the last day and last episode for my trip in Spain. Uh, it's chilly morning, it's about 8 degrees, but I'm sure it will heat up pretty quickly as soon as the, um, as soon as the sun wakes up and starts doing its job. Today I am heading towards Setenil de Bodegas, I think it's called, but I'm not going alone. Today I'm teaming up with Alexander Perez. He is um, the guide for Paris Touring and also the guide for MD Touring Norway uh, when they have advice here in Spain. This is hello. Nice ride. <laughs> Likewise. Small break there, saying hi to this biker over here. <laughs> anyway, since this has been my first time riding a BMW 1250 GS, I thought I wanted to do a quick review, or not a review really, but more like a first impression. I only had a week with it, so it's too early to, to do like a proper re review of it. Uh, and I've, I've done mainly just asphalt and, and stuff like that, so I'm sure this bike is capable of a lot more than what I've used it for. For those of you who haven't seen my previous episodes on my YouTube channel, I um, I own a KDM 790 Adventure standard model, a 2019 model. I've had it for about a year. Um, and this bike is borrowed from MC Touring Norway, uh, now that I'm not in Spain. So, how do it compare? It's it's not even in the same league, you know. It's an adventure bike, but this is just a whole nother level of comfort, perfection. Yeah, it's it's a it's a damn nice bike. Um, I was originally a little bit afraid that it would be it, that it would feel a little bit too big to handle on my own. Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a big bike, but as soon as you get on it and start driving, it's like riding a freaking. Yeah, it, it's, it feels so light. It's very nimble. It's super responsive in, in the steering. Biggest difference between this one and my KDM, I would say, first of all, comfort. If you've seen my previous videos and or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a problem with my KDM. His name is Arnold, by the way. Uh, his uh, seat, it's quite hard. Uh, and it just it destroys my butt after just a couple hours. I do not have that problem with this bike. It is super comfortable and I could ride all all day with it, no problem. Also, the way you're seated on a bike, it's a super natural, comfortable position. There's Your shoulders are relaxed, your feet are relaxed, everything just falls into place in a very natural way. Yeah, it, it's super nice and a big windscreen. Nice riding on highways uh, and in windy air condition as we tried. Uh, not too bad. It's, uh, it's so easy to adjust. What else? Oh, suspensions. Whoa. Big difference. It is so freaking smooth to ride this bike. It's, it's just floating over the road. It's, there's no harsh bumps and here and that. It's just, it just freaking floats over the road. It's super comfortable. It carries weights really well. I'm uh, I'm glad I'm riding the 1250 instead of the 850. I tried the 850 as well for uh, just like a 20 minute ride. And it is quite top heavy. I do not have the same feeling with this bike. Uh, since the engine is so low, it, it maneuvers really well in slow speed as well. The little I tried uh, on gravel, super nice. Just plenty of, plenty of power. Um, I'm not experienced enough to do a, a gravel review on this bike because I, I haven't ever even done gravel with my KDM barely. <laughs> anyway, all in all, would I buy this bike? No, I don't think I would. Uh, first of all, it's, it's expensive. It is freaking expensive. And I don't want to own the bike where if you drop it or anything happens, it just eats up your entire budget, travel budget, uh, because you have to fix it and it's expensive to fix it. Second, it's just a little bit too big. It's still just a little bit too big. Um, if I drop it, I need to be able to pick it up myself. I'm sure I would if I had enough practice, but it's just... 
it's a nice bike. I would definitely ride it again. Would own it myself? No. I, uh, I need something smaller, neater. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, get packed up and get ready for the day. Alexander has arrived, we are ready to go, he has confirmed we will drive a little bit of gravel today, so let's see, let's see how that goes. <laughs> It's actually really nice <laughs> to spend this last day not <laughs> not thinking a lot, just following. Um, and to spend it with someone who actually knows the roads quite well, knows all the good stuff and yeah, it's very comfortable. That's lunch room. <laughs> very good for me to drive with someone who drives a little bit more aggressive than me just so that I can push myself a little bit more because <laughs> I'm honestly not very good at pushing myself when I'm alone I tend to um, drive very safely and at some point you'll, you'll stop learning when you drive that way you'll just I need to develop I need to um, learn new stuff get better so this is very good learning for me. Woo.
what a ride that was, holy cow. Let's switch mode back to road. I have to say guys, gravel riding is so much fun. And it really takes you to some of the most scenic, beautiful places that you that you won't you won't have the same on asphalt. And it's just less traffic, it's more <laughs> just in the nature, I guess. And I I really hope I get to a point where I'm comfortable doing it on my own because I think I'm, I'm missing out of a lot of good stuff just because I'm a wuss. <laughs> Anyway, maybe you just have to jump into it, just do it, not think too much about it. This can it possibly okay let's just try okay go 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 gas 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 all right no fucking problem Choke my bike. Okay. Lots of blood. No. Just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to do bye. <laughs> I am definitely pushing comfort zones today. Okay. Stay on the track, stay on the track. Yep. Very good. Not kill ourselves or the bike, shall we? Slowly, 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 slowly. Da -da -da. I know I'm using the front brake, I'm not supposed to, I don't give a shit. It works, sort of. rocks are 
gosh, so I can, ah, I'm just like waiting for a puncture. Right. Oh, that's where the road ended. I'm gonna have to go back about a kilometer and take another turn. me <laughs> oh, another close gate crap all right so we got one more option if that doesn't work we have to go back the way we came for them <laughs> if I can just get the bike upright <laughs> there we go all right okay let's go again this is quite the workout, you guys. <sighs> if I'm occasionally just start screaming into the microphone, it's just because my back wheel, back wheel is slipping and I'm not entirely used to that feeling yet. <laughs> One more close gate. These roads are marked on the map and not as locked ones. So we finally made it out on the other side. <laughs> that took a while. Oh, I'm exhausted. But damn, that was fun. And a lot of good learning, especially for me. Wow. I noticed my uh, front camera stopped recording because my memory card is full, so that's, that's a pity. But shit happens. I made it to Sedanil. Bodegas, which is probably not pronounced that way. Maybe. Maybe we can find something to eat, that would be nice. I bet you I burned some calories on that off road <laughs> trip. <laughs> There's a lot of people. <laughs> this feels illegal. But apparently it's not. How cool is this? This entire little houses are under these boulders. It's freaking awesome. Look at these boulders, just hanging over the houses. What a cool city.
we had our dinner and it was absolutely delicious it's now already six o'clock uh, and we're heading back to Fuengirola just to get the bikes ready for parking and then I'm packing all my stuff up and leaving for the airport unfortunately uh, my flight leaves tomorrow morning so I'll just stay at a hotel near the airport for the evening what a day it's been holy absolutely knackered <laughs> after this day <laughs> holy smokes it's been quite the day I uh, I pushed I crushed my comfort zone off-road um, I hope I caught some good stuff on camera I know that my uh, my front camera ran out of uh, storage somewhere along the way and then I changed battery on this one <laughs> at least three times and it still ran out so uh, yeah I'm excited to see what I caught because it's been quite the day it's been quite the day I am uh, yeah I'm in much need of a shower I'm quite dirty and smelly these shoes are not a good place to be <laughs> at the moment anyway I thought I would just do a quick summary of this trip if you haven't watched my previous episodes, this uh, trip for me in Spain is a collaboration with MC Tour Norway, uh, Perez MC Tours, and Speed Morris Motorcycle Center. And I just want to give them a huge, massive thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this experience. It's been absolutely fantastic and a, a great way to begin my both my off-road career <laughs> and, um, and to try riding in a new country it's my first time doing that and i it's it's been a pleasant surprise yeah i've enjoyed myself very much would i do this again 100 percent yes although i learned for myself that i'm more of a a to b kind of writer i think i would enjoy more um you know you have one week you need to go from this place to this place during that week Instead of what I've been doing this week, it's just I've, I've had no plan. I've just been figuring out every day, yeah, I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to see this, I want to see that. Uh, and this, you know, just enjoying yourself. And that's all good fun. But I think that experience would be actually a lot better if you could spend it with an entire group or with several people doing that. Um, all in all, it's been an absolutely wonderful experience from start to end. I didn't break the bike. I didn't break myself. I mean, one piece. Anyway, if you've seen this to the very end, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. If there is anything you want to tell me, just leave a comment. If you have a question or a constructive criticism, I'm all for that. If there's anything I can do better, let me know. And I can't wait for my next adventure, whatever that will be. Bye guys.